Hello, and welcome to the show, and welcome to a very, very noisy grid. It's not quite as effective as when you have the clown horns going off, but it's still a very noisy grid, I apologise. Uh, <laughs> apparently this is where we're starting now. Yes, we're back on GTA 5. There is some more racing. I spy a sneaky car. Uh, sneaky car, you probably don't want to be over there. There is no way onto the circuit. You're going to have to reset. Uh, <laughs> we've got another race for you around a rather interesting circuit. We are driving the Fury? Fury? I don't know. Whatever it is. Sports car. Quite good fun. Uh, does have a little habit of maybe falling over uh, a smidge. And we are off and underway. Uh, oh, no, there is a way back on the circuit from over there. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> one of the cars made a mess of it slightly, but there was a way back on the circuit. Uh, yes, we're going racing. Uh, this a uh, little bit more, I guess, of a traditional circuit that we tend to see in, or well, that we have raced a lot of in GTA 5. A little slower, more... Uh, on some tough braking zones uh, for some overtaking opportunities, some big slides from the black car up ahead. Uh, you don't want to bump draft with these cars. They do not like the light contact. You might get away with it once, but more often than not, you're going to fire somebody into a wall. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> they all in... It's been a murder, a sign. Uh, it's a big mess. I mean, they actually... It could have been worse in as far as we could have broken the field up quite a lot more. That is a stunt. <laughs> oh, this has fallen over in the middle of the pack. <laughs> Don't quite know how that happened. Don't crash into the flag, Christ. That nearly went wrong. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, well, it's been a start. It has it has been a start, I can tell you that much here. We've got not much we can do. Oh, down this section. Don't go launching over the rocks. Uh, it would be very easy to send yourself to space. I don't actually want to be a part of three wide through that corner. That is just asking for a world of pain, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot of cars now stacking up in this little group. Now, the leader is actually enjoying quite the lead at the moment. Yes, we have catch-up turned on, but when we're fighting side by side, well, we lose quite a bit of lap time. Oh, I mean, I'll try and put you back facing the right way. I'm sorry, there was literally the wall was there. I had <laughs> to not go in the wall on that one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's that's that. I am going to turn away from the from the wall on there. Uh, I don't know if there's a car on the outside. It's a lot of stuff goes on. A lot of stuff goes on in these. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to know where everybody is at all at all times. Uh, oh, that was a bit of a shot through there. I was wanting to carry a bit more speed. Uh, and, yeah. It's fine. I mean, in the end, we came out considerably worse. So, second back are all in this group that's all managed to stumble over one another again. We're managing to have a really good job of stumbling over a lot uh, so far in this race. It, this is apparently the warm-up lap. Yes, that's what we're doing here. We're having a warm-up lap. Why not? That seems like a sensible idea. It seems like we need it, to be honest with you. I mean, we're back about where we were last time around, fighting three wide for second. Uh, and this time we get a much better run going up the hill. Now, can we go and chase down the leader? Do we reckon? Are we going to squat? Uh, to be fair, all we need is a couple of straights, and catch-up will probably do its job. All we need is a couple of straights and one slipstream buddy, which we've got plenty of behind. Work together well enough, and we will be on the tail of that red car in no time. Let's just not beans it up by fighting each other. Oh, actually, yeah, there we go. See, but you can. There is a tiny chance that the bump draft will work, but it is. It's just a tiny, tiny chance. We're going to be on the outside through there. I gave a little too much space. Uh, I slightly underestimated the grip I was going to have in the... No, overestimated, sorry, the grip I was going to have in the car. Uh, ended up, but, I mean, we pinged off the wall. No harm done. Scraped the car, but other than that, no real massive harm done. It's uh, fine. We have got... Everyone's kind of lined up, although it's going to not stay like that, because the chicane coming up here is quite a good overtaking spot. Yeah, it's, the, the, it's a good overtaking spot if you are well alongside a car. Having a big dive is a bit dicey. Apparently these rolling curbs can affect this car if you hit them hard enough. Uh, lighthouse, oh. Lighthouse is a good overtaking spot. Again, I didn't quite uh, know there's going to be such a big dive. We should, we should be able to get a good run on the exit there uh, with that wider line. Oh, I got very close to the chicane. For all of that, there's just not going to be any space. Impega had a massive run. Uh, <laughs> problem is, Impega had a... I backed out of the manoeuvre, and Impega just didn't have time to back out of the manoeuvre, so I got fired forward into it anyway. 
it's just that kind of chain reaction of little bumps that can uh, that can go on. I'm going to wander very wide. Now, the run to the finish line is not the longest here. You almost can hold it if you've got a big enough lead. You can almost hold it. So, yeah, track position is going to be important. It's not a guaranteed straightforward slipstream pass to the uh, to the finish on this circuit, which is good. It's good. Um, you see, like, for example, there, if I can pull that gap in if they're fighting too wide, that's what you want. Although, if they are fighting side by side, they might be able to get bigger runs because you get multiple cars kind of working together and slingshotting the way forward. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Much more difficult to judge at a circuit like this. Uh, certainly much more difficult to judge with a large number of cars as well. I mean, it's always, it's always the case because sometimes someone gets a really big run you weren't expecting from a lot further back. We are going to not want to be fighting too much into the chicane here. Oh, I... Ah, I was trying to get out of the way. I'm beans that way. It's not been a good race. It's not been a good drive by me today so far. Uh, oh, and there's a massive two-wheel moment. Yeah, I was on a... I, I drove in a little bit too fast. I got myself in a big amount of trouble by driving in too fast. And once my car was over the curb and airborne, I just couldn't then slow down the speed. So I apologise to Scotty. Yeah, that's very much my bad. I was trying to get my car out. <laughs> Wherever it went there, I was stuck in the middle of the road. I was trying to get it out of the way. But uh, unfortunately, other cars are already committed to their lines through that section. And yeah, we just ended up in front of cars. I mean, it's going to have to be a recovery drive for what's left of this race. It's not impossible here. It's not impossible. We've got Gliska to work with, which is good. It's their slipstream. See, I'm just going to let them go, hopefully, around the outside. We should be through there, no problem. That chicane looks nasty. It isn't actually quite as terrifying as you might initially think, uh, which is always which is always helpful to have. Uh, here we go. Get lots of speed through here. We are going to get to the inside. And again, Gliska doesn't want to defend at this point. There's no point. We're, we're in 10th. There's no reason until it's the final lap to be fighting ridiculously over 10th place. Because what we want to do is work together and get our cars to fighting with the next group up. And then, well, in fact, the next group up is literally the lead battle. So work together and we can go and whoa, rejoin that bloody hell. <laughs> that was a massive shunt. I don't even know who it was, but well done for managing to have the biggest crash we're going to see today, I suspect. That went miles across the track. There's too many cars and a rock face on the outside led to that one. It has now, it's now starting to get foggy, which is not really the ideal uh, weather conditions for a race. I mean, quite foggy, not ideal weather conditions for racing. Uh, this has bounced off the wall. I mean, we come from 10th and 11th, and we are, well, okay, 2nd and 6th at the moment, but we are very much in the fight uh, for this one. I've got nowhere to go. Ooh. Nowhere to go really at the moment. Back of Hyper's car was not the place to go and uh, give a little bit of a bump in order that. God, oh, this is a big, this is, this is just full on 10 car battle for the lead. Oh, there's a little bit of lag I think might have murdered Impega in that. Uh, certainly, certainly the turquoise car jittering around. Um, less than helpful. I've got, I keep going really wide on that corner. I need to do better there. Definitely need to do better if we're going to want to be winning this one. Uh, we've still got a little bit of time. Yeah, we've still got one more lap after this to uh, try and maybe make something happen. Brazen's going to be slow, but I don't want to be too wide down here if I can help it, really. We've seen too many issues with too wide through all of there. The only problem is, of course, I had to check up, and it actually didn't matter if I had checked up or not checked up. Like, if I'd gone too wide, we'd have been slow anyway because we were too wide. Um, by slowing down to not be too wide, the cars behind didn't have to slow down, and they get a very good run. We're on the really far outside. <laughs> That's always a little bit ambitious. We're going to get a good run off the corner again, but we're going to run out of space. The red car definitely realised the better idea there was not to get involved at that moment in time. Uh, sensible thing when we're already dicey going too wide through that chicane. Uh, we're now three wide through here. We're letting Brazen get a little bit of a breather at the front, and ooh, we get stuck. We get really hung out to drive through there and lose a bunch of time. Oh, it's all going to come down to the final lap. Oh, not enough space. A uh, little bit of lag still going on from this time the leader's car. Not enough space on the outside. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's dicey. I mean, I didn't make it three. Oh, I wasn't there three wide. We're going to be on the really far inside this time through there. We make it... Well, we stop it just. We end up across in front of the Pegas car. But uh, we did make that one just stop for a really wobbly line. Oh, there's a lot of... Uh, cards in a very small amount of pace. Pace, space. Oh, <laughs> should have held that. 
<laughs> oh, the leader's having a massive terrifying moment. Good God. Uh, <laughs> that was a tremendous two-wheel moment. I felt sure that car was going to go over. Well held. Liam's on two wheels as well. He's apparently the curse of the leading car. It's just going to go on two wheels the entire way around a lap. Uh, are we going to look to the outside? I don't know where that yellow car's gone. Either it's going to lag. Yep. I say, I'm suspecting it was going to lag back into position, but you just don't know where that position is going to be, when that's going to be. I'm going to have a tiny lift through there, just because I don't... Oh, that's death. There goes Brazen. Brazen did not get that car in the right place to avoid the rocks there. I knew someone was going to hit those rocks. They were in just that perfectly super dangerous position. And sure enough, uh, it was Brazen on the final lap of the race. I think we might be far enough away, you know to take victory here. We are. Liam cannot catch us. We will take victory in the first race after, I will be honest with you, not my best pieces of driving early on. We recovered through the field, we stayed out of trouble, and somehow we took victory in that one. Brazen. <laughs> it was a big crash at the end. I'll give credit where credit was due. It was a massive crash. Unfortunately, of course, you do that on the final stretch the final lap there is zero time to recover so now we're just going for a little bit of a flying expression session from the yellow car very good fun circuit very incorrectly named circuit but a very fun circuit nevertheless so for our second race around here we have the excellent motorsport vehicle that is the minivan look it's even got a wing of course it is a truly glorious motorsport vehicle. Minivan racing is generally uh, a quick way to rather entertaining times. Can be a little bit uh, weird, I believe, can the minivan be, uh, but on the most part, you generally get very good racing. Slow vehicle, it means the inverse law of foul race. The sillier the vehicle, the better the racing is generally pretty accurate. Uh, so we would expect minivans to be very good fun. Uh, well. <laughs> Well, they have found, the well, one of the fairly large number of completely indestructible road signs around. The only downside with this area uh, slash this circuit is it's a good, it's a fun layout. There are a couple of very much indestructible things in the way on very important lines, like that sign on the outside there, for example, uh, caused all sorts of grief in the first race. There are quite a few of them actually around this, but I don't know why there's more indestructible bits out this side of the map than in like the city or wherever, but yeah, apparently that's just how it's going to be. We're to the inside, but we're not going to get any run off the corner. Now, unlike with the previous car, bump drafting can be done with these. You still want to be a little bit careful, of course, but they will push the car ahead much better. They don't quite have the same a horrible twitchy collision physics, although I completely butchered the hairpin anyway, so, you know, it's it's fine. We will get back into line. We're going to lose one position. We still get a good run down here, but like a much longer straight without a chicane there, we could probably have repassed the purple car. However, you know, it is, it is what it is. I've got no slipstream. God damn it, the purple car just got a draft and the game decided to not give me anything. We fall into sixth from all of that. No, but there is oversteer. See, look. Motorsport pedigree. I'm pretty sure this is front-wheel drive. I could be wrong. It might be all-wheel drive. Um, GTA doesn't really like many front-wheel drive cars. But regardless, we have oversteer going on. Whether it's front-wheel drive or it's all-wheel drive, it might be like, screw it, might be rear-wheel drive, whatever it is. We can do oh, we can do minivan drifting, kind of, ish. Uh, we're going to have a very, very big run here. Can I make this four wide? We can make it four wide. Uh, we try to make it five wide, and that, well ended it ended okay i guess the other thing with of course the bumps and shunts because you're going so much slower in this everything is way more easily controlled like if you get into if you get into trouble you have a lot more time to react i know the car has less grip to deal with it but you do tend to get a little bit more time just because you're not traveling anywhere near as quick so your crashes are maybe a little bit more forgiving oh, that's fine through there <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're on the limit of the grip of the car. I, I, I love that corner. It's a shame the sign on the outside is quite as dangerous as it is, because uh, I really like that corner as a... It's close to flat out, but not quite. It's a huge sort of risk versus reward when you go to turn in through there. You get it right, it's fantastic, but, you know, you can lose a lot of time if you get it wrong. Unfortunately, you could also wipe out half the pack if you get it wrong, because... Oh, of an indestructible signpost. I did not quite get that corner right. We just lost the back end, we lost a little bit of momentum, and now there's a very, very big pack of cars wanting to come and join us a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a decent run here. 
That's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's all good, but now it's going to be about eight cars for the lead. As Yep, there goes two of them. And there's another one. I mean, the only plus point is because me and Brazen had no speed going up the hill and we were stuck side by side, there was also only so many cars that could get past because we were already too wide. Uh, there was a crash through the next corner. We're just going to skate out of it. We're fine. Well, ish. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're going to push. We're going to need a push. The push on the outside is working. Yeah, this is totally going to work here. I lifted a little bit. Yeah, well, I saw that one coming. <laughs> I lifted a little bit to try and only make it three wide ahead of us, and yeah, too many car, too many minivans. Now, you can get away with collisions a bit better with these. That is true. However, it does also rely on not trying to fit five in one particular small bit of tarmac. There is a limit as to how many minivans you can manage to fit into one small space of tarmac, and well, we exceeded it there. That was that was too many. That was that was too many. Oh, I don't know if these guys should get a roll. I suspect not. Oh, no. <laughs> Purple car pushed it too hard. I don't know whether they got on two wheels or whether they just understeered wide. Uh, of course, I had to deal with my own corner there. Couldn't, couldn't see. I would imagine probably understeered. Although, either way, it has the same effect. You just run out of grip for turning and just slide off the track and then get clocked on that horrible, horrible signpost around the lighthouse hairpin we head. So, what have we got lap time-wise? We've got a couple more laps to go. We have got... Oh, back to race against Brazen. Shall we re resume our battle? We'll just go back to our two-car battle for the lead. It was a much calmer time. It was a much simpler time when it was a two-car battle for the lead. Although Brazen ran out of... Uh, <laughs> Brazen tried to go the slipstream, ducked out, completely ran out of any sort of speed, and has gone back into it uh, up the hill. It's not found a way past yet. These, I don't, I'd be curious to see how these do with slipstream towards the start finish line because Brazen's very, very close behind, and that generally means you don't really get much slipstream. Might be far enough back now to do it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be really interesting. That's going to be very close because they're not as fast, especially if you are right behind somebody as well because the draft is a little bit less effective. Again, it's going to be another one where it's going to be a close fought thing. For a draft to the finish line. We've got a really good run here. But can I do anything with it? Because we're going to go side by side. We're to the inside on this bit, but we'll be outside for the next corner perhaps. Oh no, we're the inside for all of these bits. I actually just run out of momentum. I don't quite know how I managed that one, but we did. Uh, ah, we have another. Now, the lovely two-car battle is about to become not a lovely two-car battle anymore. As the Frosty Gold Machine will take the lead. We'll take the lead if it can get it stopped down here. Uh, we are going to make it three wide on the exit. That was a little bit ambitious for, by by me on that one. We made it work. There was only a light brush on Brazen's car. A little bit of paint swapping. However, the whole pack is here to join in the fun times now. Uh, that is a very beat-up moto. You can see, like, me and Brazen have had a wonderful time. There's a little dent on my bumper, but I think all the windows are in one piece still. We've had a wonderful little race. And then there's that ahead of us that not a bit of the car is in the condition it was when it started the race, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Ewan's, Ewan's minivan isn't too bad from the back, um, but it has, once you get around towards the front, it has got windows missing and plenty of dents along the front of it. So, uh, not that it really matters. I mean, these are like one of the cheapest cars in, in GTA 5. We could have many of these racks. I mean, it's... That's it for slow cars, one make race, good fun. We get a little push from Brazen. Uh, it might come down to a bump draft battle to the finish line. It wouldn't surprise me uh, at all. Because, for example, like here, I've got a good run, but I haven't really got enough slipstream. Uh, Brazen is going to give us a push. Yeah, it might come down to needing that push. Because Brazen doesn't have anywhere to go. Couldn't get a draft from anybody. So his only option is to push me and hope to progress their position as much as possible behind the car that they're pushing. Uh, we have seen the bump draft battles go down to the wire like that. It's tough to do and only some vehicles will work with it, but it could well happen. We could well see it here. I have been completely and utterly hung out to dry now. So we have got one car coming to join us on this kind of second line. It's not normally how it's not how normally how racing goes. We're basically making NASCAR on an actual circuit. We've got the, <laughs> we're just gonna go two by two. I had to well, as I had to check up, I just lost a load of speed through there. We're gonna fall back uh, into line. Oh, Oh, we're going up onto two wheels. Big, big two-wheel moment across there. Uh, we got some momentum. I mean, that, just that, that falling back ever so slightly and focusing on getting the run through the corner, you get such a good run on the exit. So much speed on the exit of that. Oh! 
there was a little gap. Ah. Brazen was going round, and I know. And the, the annoying thing on that one is Brazen was going round, and I know the uh, red uh, nine tails was trying to avoid Brazen, and I was like, I was fully committed to the corner, and there was just <laughs> oh no, I'm really sorry. There's no no way I can back out of that one at, at that time. My hope had been I could launch it across the curb and stay out of trouble, but yeah, if I if I'd stuck all the brakes, we'd just had a crash at a different point on it. Oh, we're gonna go for a different car having a final lap dance across the rocks. Uh, <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good crash across the rocks, I'll give you that. Well, that's two races out of two now. We've had a uh, big uh, incident on the rock on the final lap. Uh, we're going to get sick. I don't think the car's behind are close enough before the draft. Uh, yeah, that was... An, an unfortunate chain reaction of events occurred in that, and I made the wrong decision trying to deal with, uh, with that one. We're going to cross the line. Middling. Fun race, though. Very, very good fun race. I think Brazen hit a curb. I think that's what rotated the car in the middle of the track. Um, but there we go. Fastest lap will go to Longbow in fourth position. Ah, Well, there we have it. There we have it. The inverse Laura Fail race still stands. Of course it does. Silly cars. Great racing. Slightly iffy final lap, unfortunately. Uh, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much to uh, Pwn for building this really rather wonderful track. It's good fun going around, racing around. Dangerous in places, most definitely, but uh, a good fun circuit to race, nevertheless. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.